Pastor E. Adeboye clears the air on matters around his involvement in Nigerian politics. Today, during the RCCG Thanksgiving service, he mentioned emphatically that he is not and will never be a politician and that what God has called him to do is to be a pastor, pray for people and pray for nations. Let me make it loud and clear. And please, I want you to listen with anointed ears. And anointed hearts. <laughs> Pastor Adebo is not and will never be a politician. I have never been. I will never be. That's not my calling. I am called to be a pastor. That's what God called me to be. That's why you don't have me carrying a very big title. He says to me clearly, you are to be pastor. My assignment is to pray for you. Pray for nations, including Nigeria. He also recounted how God specifically told him at the age of 40 to drop every other title and maintain the title of a pastor. He went ahead to add that he has never for once supported any political party in Nigeria or admonished his spiritual children to vote for anybody and will never do that because he is a father to all. You will bear me out, those of you who are genuine members of the Dream Christian Church of God. Have I ever said that one? Whether in secret or in open, never. I have never said this is the party you should belong to. I've never said it. I will never say it. And you know why? Because in the Redeemed Christian Church of God, every party is heavily represented. Everyone, APC, PDP, APGA, Labour Party, and some parties, you don't even know their names. The only reason I have not, I've never voted, is that if I vote for anyone, Just to the rest of my children. I am the father of all. Then admonished everyone to involve themselves in the coming elections by voting for their preferred candidate instead of always complaining about the economy of the country. You have a duty to your country to register, to vote, to make sure that your vote will count. to belong to any party of your choice at the very grassroots. You can sit down, fold your hands, refuse to vote, and then begin to complain about the government. And that even though he doesn't vote, he will keep praying for the country. He also mentioned that he doesn't know if the 2023 elections we hold yet, as God hasn't spoken to him about it, and that there is still time for that. You're going to quote me, quote me correctly. And I'm talking to those of you who are my children. Do you want to know the truth? Yes, sir. The whole truth? Yes, sir. And nothing but the truth? Yes, talking of myself now, as of now, as I'm standing before you, I still don't know whether or not there will be an election next year. Don't say that Pastor Adibu said there will be no election next year. That's not what I said. What was it I said? 
does not know yet. Yet, oh. Put the word yet. In other news, Apostle Johnson Sliman launches a record label called Jolly's Records. Jolly's Records is a maverick record label established by himself and his wife, Dr. Lizzie Johnson Suleiman. Its sole aim is to discover and develop gospel artists in Nigeria and investing in them for the purpose of the kingdom. Recently, there has been an ongoing registration for Kingdom Voice Talent Odds, powered by Jolly's Records, with huge prizes for the winners. That will be all for today's Gospel Trends and Gist. For more of these, follow us on our social media platforms at Gospel Times and subscribe to our YouTube channel.